Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the foot tumble control for this rig that we've been working on. If you want to see how to make the uh, controls that have already been made so far, then uh, check out the previous tutorial. So I'll provide a link to uh, the first one um, on screen right now. So the foot tumble control. Uh, let's check out how it works in the finished file. Here it is. This is it. Um, when I pull in, uh, on the tumble control, the foot rotates in around a pivot on the inside of the foot and when I pull out, it, the foot rotates out around the pivot on the outside of the foot and you can see those two pivots, one here and one here, placed just on the either side of the foot so let's go ahead and make those bones in uh, our file here I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and uh, I'm going to select the... oh, I need to set, select the heel bone but uh, if I tab out again, uh, you can see that the mechanism bones for this rig are hidden at the moment. Uh, we can unhide them by going to the armature panel and uh, shift clicking on uh, this layer here where the mechanism bones are. So now I can select the heel and tab into edit mode. I'll come into the front view and then um, I'll press shift D to duplicate the heel bone and uh, shift D to duplicate that bone one more time. Now I'll tab out of edit mode, you can see our two new bones here, but uh, they need to be placed uh, directly on the edges uh, of, of the foot, one on the inside and one on the outside, so I'll come into front, front view again and um, uh, I'll go into edit mode, select the bone and place it just there, that's the right place for that one, and uh, tab into edit mode again and uh, make this one symmetrical, so yeah, nicely placed. I'll also just tab into edit mode and move them forward a little bit, um, just to distinguish them from the heel bone. Uh, move important there, that's fine. Important thing to do is to name these bones, so I'll select the bone and press N and I'll hide the transform uh, section until I get down to the item section and I'll just enter a name here, it'll be uh, tumble in and the other one on the outside will be called tumble out. Okay. Now, when we when I um, duplicated these bones from uh, the heel bone, it also copied across the constraints from the heel bone. So I'll just delete those now. I'll go to the bone constraints panel and delete uh, the constraint on that one. And again for the other bone, you can see the an action constraint here that we don't want uh, just now. So I'll delete that too. Now, at the moment, when I rotate either of these bones, they don't really do anything, and that's because they haven't been placed in the hierarchy in the right place to uh, do the thing that we want them to do. So, um, where is that place in the hierarchy? Well, we'll find out by having a look at the finished file again. Now, when I uh, use the uh, foot roll control, uh, you can see that while the heel bone here, watch the heel bone just here, while that one moves, uh, these two tumble bones don't move. That means that these two tumble bones need to be higher up in the hierarchy than the heel. That allows the tumble to control to still work nicely, uh, even when the foot roll control has already put, been put into a, an interesting uh, position. Uh, so uh, these uh, tumble control, th these tumble bones, aren't affected by the heel. So they're higher up in the hierarchy than the heel bone. That, that means that the tumble bones are the parent of the um, of the heel bone. I'll uh, just reset this. Uh, now if I rotate the foot uh, the tip toe control around here like this and then I um, well you can see that the um, the tumble bones moved with it. Uh, that already lets you know that they're lower in the hierarchy than the tip toe control. So they're the children of the tip toe control. And if I grab the foot tumble control uh, and rotate them. You can see why they need to be low in the hierarchy. Uh, even though the um, tiptoe control has been rotated like this, the tumble bones are still in the perfect place to rotate the foot in around its inside edge and out around its outside edge. So now we know where uh, they, the uh, tumble bones need to be. They need to be uh, beneath the tiptoe control and above the heel bone. So we're going to organise the hierarchy so it's the tiptoe of the parent, then the tumble out as the next uh, as the child of that, and then the tumble in as the child of the tumble out, 
and the heel as a child of the tumble in. So it's child, parent, parent, then parent. So we'll go into the file that we're working in and implement that uh, by tabbing into edit mode, selecting the heel, making sure it's the heel that's selected, then selecting its parent, the tumble in control, and pressing control P and choosing keep offset, then selecting the tumble in control and choosing its parent, the tumble out control, uh, or the tumble out bone, and pressing control P and keep offset. Uh, now the tumble out bone is already the child of the tiptoe bone. Uh, if it wasn't, then you just select the tumble out bone and, and then select the tiptoe bone and press control P. But that's already been done, so we don't need to do that here. Let's tab out into pose mode and check out how that's working. So if I select the inside bone, you can see the heel moves with it. Uh, that's as it should be. And uh, same for the uh, tumble out bone. And um, if I activate the foot roll, then the uh, tumble bone stay in the right place to rotate the foot around each side and if I zero the uh, foot roll control and rotate the tip toe control out you can see the tumble bones are still in the right place to rotate the foot nicely to tumble the foot nicely around either, it's e either side so I'll just uh, clear that rotation as well so we have the basic mechanism working I'll just hide this panel there by pressing in and uh, what we need to do next is to uh, create the nice controls. So I'll take a look at this uh, f in the finished file. And there you can see that when we move this bone here, uh, the right kind of rocking motion uh, uh, happens on these two bones. And that's done by recording that rocking motion in an animation, in an action, um, and uh, playing it back on these two bones uh, using an action constraint on each bone, which is driven by this control. So we need to create that animation in our file here. And to do that, we'll go to the animation screen layout here. And uh, this is the dope sheet here. We need to change its mode to the action editor. So because uh, we want to create an action, so I'll click on uh, the action editor from that menu there. Um, and you can see that currently there's no action applied. So we need to create a new one by clicking on this. And we'll name that action foot tumble. Now we'll just uh, go to frame 0 here, um, and I'll zoom in here by pressing control on the middle mouse button and dragging so we can see a bit better. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add some basis, basis um, keyframes on these two bones that we're about to animate um, at uh, the three times that we're going to animate them. So at frame 1 I'm going to insert two rotation keys in the default position, then press up on the keypad to go to up. 10 frames to frame 11 and insert two more keys and uh, if I just scroll down here you can see those two sets of keys that we've added and I'll do the same again pressing up to frame 21 and pressing I to insert two more rotation keys there one on each bone. Now I'm going to add the animation uh, by going to frame 1 there and then selecting the tumble out bone uh, scrolling in the header across here to the transform gizmo and shift selecting the rotation gizmo and I'm going to rotate this bone out uh, 90 degrees holding down control to lock the rotation to increments and insert a keyframe on the rotation there. I'm going to go to frame 21 and do something similar for the tumble in control, the tumble in bone, rotating that out, uh, rotating that in um, 90 degrees and inserting another rotation keyframe. Now, if I play this back, we, you can see that we have the basic uh, movement, but it's uh, sm being smoothed at the moment. So we need to select all the keyframes with by pressing A twice and going to key and interpolation mode and choosing linear. Now the motion is clearly defined. Because we're going to be playing this action back on these two bones uh, using an action constraint, uh, we don't want uh, the action to be played back in the timeline here. So in order to achieve that, we're going to delete the link to the action. Uh, by clicking on that cross there and you can see that uh, the action is no longer being played back that's just what we want and uh, now we're going to set up the action constraints and we'll do that in the default screen layout here and um, I'm going to do that in the next tutorials or rather just the next tutorial it'll only take one tutorial so hopefully I'll see you in the next part uh, of this tutorial where we'll set up the action constraints and the uh, foot tumble control bone. See you soon.